so moving on to the next team's item. So this is gonna this is gonna create some chaos, I think. So right now, I think Microsoft is looking probably at their telemetry and realizing not that many people are going out of their way to create avatars and teams. And there's probably a number of different reasons for that. Uh, but under Message Center 7893.15, Microsoft Teams is going to be introducing a feature to create avatars using one of your own photos using AI technology. And that's gonna start rolling out in mid-May to mid-June, 2024. Uh, there are some requirements on it. Your machine's gonna need to have at least a quad core processor, four gigabytes of RAM. And I believe that you also need the new the new version of Teams for this as well. Yeah. Though at this point, you should be moving to the new version of Teams unless you have a very good reason to stick with it with the retirement coming up. From a licensing standpoint, it requires Teams Enterprise or Essentials or Business Basic Standard Premium or pretty much, anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything at this point. I can kind of show the image up here on the screen as well. And I'll, again, I'll preview that and blow it up a little bit. But really, when you go to create an avatar right now is it just gives you the option to create from a base avatar and then customize. This is going to give you the ability to create it from a photo. There's not a whole lot more included here in terms of screenshots. I may try and test this and see if it works. One of my concerns around it is, is probably how janky are these avatars going to look when you upload a photo of yourself? Are you comfortable uploading a photo of yourself into Teams to allow AI to create an avatar photo? And I think my last question for it is, what if I don't upload a photo of me, but I upload a photo of somebody else? Or what if I upload like, a photo of like a cartoon or an anime or something like that. Like, how is it going to react with this? I think that like, this could be a whole let's talk demo. And maybe that'll be something that Holly and I cover maybe later in the month that this is available. Cause I think that this is super neat. And we actually did, a, we did a show on creating avatars back in December. Um, and that got us some decent like follows and likes on the channel as well. But yeah, I mean, it's a neat change. I don't, it's, a bit of enough, nothing burger again. Like if you're not really using this feature today, you're not going into a meeting with an avatar on, I don't think that this is really going to encourage you to go in and do it. Uh, also, if you're using a virtualized machine, chances are you probably aren't going to be able to actually have the minimum hardware requirements to run it, which these are the hard, same hardware requirements, I believe that are impacting teams today as well. So until this gets a little bit lighter in weight, it might not be a huge thing, but just something to prepare for. Yeah, I would just throw in too that my suspicion is that the primary reason they're doing this, it has more to do with just the low uptake on people creating and using avatars. And so maybe their thought here is let's just make it as easy as possible so that, you know, they don't have to sit and tweak and, you know, it, for anyone, it's all different, right? It, it depends how crazy you want to get with trying to make it look like yourself. But, you yep. know, it's 20, 30 minutes maybe of clinking around the different options to try and make your, your avatar look like you. Here's a shortcut. And then maybe they're thinking as if we just make on how well it works. Possible, you know, yeah. <laughs> that that's the trade-off though, is it, they were already kind of difficult to make look like yourself before. I don't see this dramatically changing that. It I, just uh, makes it easier. Anecdotal story not related to Teams is Meta recently introduced the new create an avatar thing in Messenger. And when it went to create me, it looked at a picture of me, I think, because I think that they're using AI for this. And I was wearing a black shirt and instead it made me a black man. And I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> but again, this is why like the generative AI stuff and like the Bings and the Bards and the Geminis and all that stuff, they're having a lot of problems processing images yeah. because of the information that it's been fed by us. And they're still trying to work on tuning that down. So hopefully we don't see any sort of disaster like this with this new create an avatar from a photo thing, but time will tell, right? Right. 